everybody and welcome to Word of Mouth Theatre, video reviews to help spread word of mouth about the beauty and magic that can be found within live theatre. These reviews have been made to help create new and build on existing audiences for theatre and to help spread word of mouth about some of the fabulous shows and venues that are putting on some amazing experiences of entertainment for people, not just nationally but globally. In this episode I'm going to be talking about the Halley New Year Viennese Concert Celebration and this was part of Bradford International Concert Season 2013-2014 and this was at St George's Hall in Bradford on Sunday the 5th of January 2014. It's got to be said that the Halley Orchestra have a loyal following of fans who love to see them perform whenever there is an opportunity and it's important to say that in addition to these loyal following of fans the Halley Orchestra is something that everybody should experience. It's a great experience of entertainment for all ages and if you haven't been to a classical music concert or if you haven't heard the Halley perform, it's definitely something that you should check out. The Halley Orchestra, originally from Manchester, was formed in 1858 by Sir Charles Halley. They had their first performance on the 30th of January 1858 at the Free Trade Hall in Manchester. Over the years, there have been a number of important classical music figures that have worked with the orchestra, and these have included Dr Hans Richer, Sir Hamilton Hardy, and Sir John Barbaroli. In 2000, Mark Elder became their musical director, and in 2008, he received a knighthood from the Queen for services to music. The Halley Orchestra performs around 70 concerts annually at its home in the Bridgewater Hall in Manchester and it performs around 40 concerts a year at other venues throughout the UK. Because of its reputation for providing excellent entertainment for people, it has also done a number of international tours and also taken part in broadcasts and television performances. In August 2000, the Halley Orchestra performed at London's Royal Albert Hall as it took part in the BBC Proms Wagner celebration. So, the Halley Orchestra is made up of around a 50-piece orchestra, which includes, say, 20 violins, around 10 violas, maybe 10 cellos, you've got around 5 double basses, maybe 5 French horns, and in addition to that, you've got a couple of flutes, a couple of piccolos, a couple of clarinets, a couple of bassoons. You've also got trumpets, trombones, bass trombones. You've also got tubers. You have percussion, which includes the marching drum percussion and also the bass drum and the tambourine. And you also have tubers and harps. And this orchestra is conducted by Wynne Davies and it also includes a couple of performances by the Mexican tenor Rafael Rojas. So, you can imagine this combination of all these instruments playing in the fabulous venue that has fabulous acoustics, which is St George's Hall, and just this whole experience of people coming together, people listening to this music, and people finding enjoyment in this experience is a great time to be had. This celebration of Viennese music is based predominantly on music by Johann Strauss and Joseph Strauss, but it also includes a number of classical performances by other important classical music figures. Now, some of the names for some of these songs are fabulous names that I think is great symbolism to replicate the kind of things you're going to hear in the songs that are being performed, and these include names such as Tales from Vienna Woods, and from that little line there, the little title, you can imagine lots of things would be going on in the woods. You've got lots of colour in the woods, you've got lots of light, lots of dark, lots of lighting, lots of different textures. And you've also got lots of different feelings and lots of different emotions. And this is the kind of emotions and experiences that you're going to find when you listen to this song. You've also got things called, an example of another song is called The Gazelle. And again, great symbolism there with a gazelle jumping up and down, having lots of life within it, hiding from people sometimes, maybe being a bit avert sometimes with people, and then also being flamboyant sometimes as well with its dance of life and again being replicated nicely within the music. 
Other numbers include songs named Spanish March. Again, you've got some nice symbolism of the big band sound there, the marching sound. And there's also a couple of numbers called Thunder and Lightning Polka. Again, we've got some nice symbolism of some of the emotion that you might expect to see within the music and some of the tension and some of the drama of the lightning and of the thunder which is created by all these instruments and by all these fabulous performers on the stage and we also have the opera ball as well which is a nice name for something that you might see with a grand ball in Vienna and lots of opulence, lots of brightness, lots of nice costumes, maybe some masked balls and just great experiences of things that you're going to hear within the music of this whole experience as well. And it's important to mention as well that after this fabulous performance that everybody enjoyed thoroughly, the audience was then delighted by a performance that was unexpected by a quartet. And this was a quartet that played in the bar at St George's Hall. And the audience members here were delighted by a number of performances by the quartet which consisted of around three violins and a cello and the music was played here by Mozart and then we had a couple of jazz numbers and this ended with Bare Necessities which was a perfect way to end a fabulous evening of being serenaded by the music of the Halley Orchestra with the conduction of Wynn Davies and also the great vocal talents of Raphael Rogers. Now the conductor, Wynne Davies, began his career with the Welsh National Opera and he works with a number of opera and orchestra and theatre companies in the West End and in Cabaret. He became a director of the New Zealand Opera in 2005 and he worked as an assistant conductor for two years with the Met Opera in New York. In addition to that, he has also conducted for opera companies such as the English National Opera and the Scottish National Opera and Opera North. And he was also involved in an award-winning production of the Three Penny Opera that was staged in Toronto. And in 2012, he was awarded the John Edwards Award by the Welsh Guild of Music for Outstanding Contributions to Music and his current productions include Mozart's Don Giovanni and Wagner's The Flying Dutchman. Now, Rafael Rojas is a Mexican-born and a Mexican-educated tenor and he began his career studying at the University of Fuerte Lagada and he joined the Royal Scottish Academy of Music and Drama and then finished his education at the Royal Northern College of Music in Manchester. He's played a number of title roles with important operatic companies such as New Zealand Opera and Opera North. And in 1995, Rafael Rojas took part in a competition called the Placido Domingo Competition and he was awarded the Placido Domingo Prize. In addition to that, he was personally invited by Placido Domingo to perform with the Washington Opera. In addition to being a renowned and respected operatic performer, he's a highly in-demand performer and to see him perform is an excellent experience. When you saw him singing, there's a certain if you like tone and a certain emotion that can be experienced when a crowd is really wowed and really enthralled by a performance and the vocal talents of Raphael Rojas combined with the excellent conduction of Wynne Davies and the fabulous talents of all the musicians in this orchestra just created a fabulous experience for the audience and the audience absolutely loved this performance and it was a pleasure to be a part of this experience. So, we're just going to look at a couple of images now from the programme. So if I bring this up, we can see here, this is the Bradford International Orchestra Concert Season Brochure 2013-2014, with a fabulous picture here of the lights of St George's Hall, and you can just see some great things there, some great metaphor for the great lights and experiences that you can see inside. And if we open the programme, we can see couple of adverts for forthcoming events at St George's Hall which include a Mozart concert at the end of January 
and we have just some of the numbers from the show and the interval and then the second half of the show what you're going to experience there's some information here about some of the numbers and some of the history behind some of the performances within this show and then at the end here we have just some information about the Halley Orchestra, its background there's also just some information previously to that about Wynne Davies and Raphael Rojas and then we have just further information about individual performers within the show and again just further information about St George at all so a great little publication there and a great little memento of this fabulous experience. Now it's necessary to mention that the Halley Orchestra have a great programme that's intended to get more young people involved in performance and in music and in 2013 around quarter of a million people saw the Halley Orchestra perform and out of these people around 44,000 people were young people and children who were getting involved with new performances and they have around 65 different schemes and projects going on to just promote awareness for this around the country which is fantastic. So, I'm just going to mention a couple of Google searches now. If you Google Bradford Theatres, you can find out some more of the fabulous events happening at the theatres in Bradford, which include St George's Hall, the Alhambra Theatre and King's Hall in Ilkley. And if you Google Bradford Theatre Orchestra, Bradford Theatre's concert season, you can find information about the orchestral seasons and if you Google the Halley Orchestra you can find information about the Halley Orchestra, if you Google Wynne Davies composer and if you Google Raphael Rojas tenor you can find out more information about the people that were involved in this performance. So, it's about it now for this review, so check out the performance if you can. If you're interested in seeing the Halley Orchestra again, you're lucky enough to be able to see them. They're going to be performing back at St George's Hall on the 10th of May 2014. You can find out more information about that on Bradford Theatre's website. And before I sign out, it's necessary to mention now that theatre and performance is something that everybody can enjoy. It's something that you can experience on your own. You can take your girlfriend, take your boyfriend, take your husband, take your wife, or go as part of a group with the many group school trips that get arranged, and also companies that arrange group theatre trips. There's something for everybody to enjoy. It's affordable, it's accessible, it's enjoyable, and more people should have this experience. So, remember to check out what's happening at your local theatres and amateur dramatic societies. Get involved, go and see a show and tell somebody about it to help spread word of mouth about the beauty and magic that can be found within live theatre. It's about time to sign out now, so enjoy the show and see you next time.